Welcome back to Bumblebee. I'm your host, Kyle McWaters. And if you think that we're pretty advanced in 2022, uh, this list might make you think again. Here's the top 10 most advanced ancient civilizations that ever existed. Number 10, Corral. The sacred city of Corral is an archeological site considered to be one of the oldest known civilizations in the Americas. The formation of the civilization took place around 3500 BCE and ran to about 1800 BCE. No other site has been found with such a diversity of buildings and architecture and has since been declared a humanity cultural heritage site by UNESCO themselves. Uncovered around 1905, Peruvian archaeologists provided the first documentation on the civilization at Corral. They appear to have an economy of some sort, selling mostly textiles and fish. The civilization is considered a pre-ceramic culture, since archaeologists have yet to find any sculpted or painted art. However, they did find a system of writing called Quipu which is a string-based recording device suggesting a proto-writing of some sort. They were widely known for their architecture of huge earth-landscaped projects of mounds, particularly a massive labyrinth of underground circular connecting plazas. They were ahead of their time. Yeah. Number 9. The Etruscans. Side note, if you dig what we do here on Bumblebee, make sure to Hulk smash that like button for us, huh? The Etruscan civilization was a people of Etruria in ancient Italy. They had a common language, culture, and formed a federation of cities. Their territory covered now what is Tuscany, Umbria, and Lazio. The earliest evidence of this culture is from about 900 BC. This is the period of the Iron Age considered to be the earliest phase of Etruscan civilization. With a maximum population peaking around 750 BC, the earliest examples of writing are inscriptions found around 700 BC. They developed a system of writing derived from the Euboean alphabet. The language remains only partly understood, making modern understanding of their society and culture heavily dependent on later Roman and Greek sources. Number 8. Inca. The Incan Empire was the largest of pre-Columbian America. The center of the empire was the city of Cusco. The Incans arose from the Peruvian highlands in the late 12th century. The Spanish began their conquest of the empire in 1532 and by 1572, the last Inca state was fully conquered. Before they fell, the Incas were able to construct one of the greatest imperial states in history, accidentally. Without the use of a wheel, knowledge of iron or steel, or even a system of reading and writing. Yeah, these guys were good. About all 14 million of them as well. The empire included construction of monumental architecture, stone and road work reaching to all corners of the empire, and even finely woven textiles. They functioned without money and without markets. Instead, exchange of goods and services was based on individuals, groups, and rulers. Taxes consisted of a labor obligation, usually construction. Everyone was either lifting or carving, you know? The Inca rulers would even grant access to land goods and celebratory feasts for the workers if you did a good job. Dude, this place sounds awesome. Sign me up. Number seven, Indus Harappan. The Indus Valley Civilization, aka the Harappan peoples, was the first urban civilization from roughly 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE. Located in South Asia, modern day Pakistan, and Northwest India, the Harappans built dozens of sprawling cities with immense planning and architecture. I'm talking water supply systems with recycled drainage, large skyscraper sized buildings. They even developed a number of technologies, including one of the world's first systems of weights and measurements. New techniques in metallurgy producing copper, bronze, lead, and tin. These people were smart. In addition to math and engineering, the Indus Valley civilization enjoyed arts and crafts. Even games and toys have been found. Baked brick houses, clusters of large iron non-residential buildings, and handcrafted metallurgy. We start to see the foundations here, people. There are even three cities here that are now all UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The latest in 2021, the Kalishchen Desert. Number six, Phoenicians. The Phoenicians were a Semitic group of speaking people who emerged around 3000 BC. The term Phoenicia is ancient Greek, meaning a colored dye. It's debated whether Phoenicians were distinct from the broader group of speaking peoples known as the Canaanites. The term Canaanites loosely corresponds to the groups referred to as the Phoenicians, so it's a little messy back then on who's exactly who. The Phoenicians rose in the mid 12th century following the decline and collapse of the late Bronze Age. 
They were renowned as traders and mariners, becoming the dominant commercial power around. They developed an expansive maritime trade network, helping the exchange of cultures and ideas between Greece, Egypt, and Mesopotamia. They established colonies and trading posts across the Mediterranean as Phoenician society and culture centered around mostly commerce and seafaring. As a kicker, of course, historians and archaeologists revealed this civilization most likely has the world's oldest verified alphabets. I can't even build a boat now, let alone back then, with barely an alphabet? Like how? Number 5. Egypt an ancient civilization in northeast Africa situated on the Nile Valley, somewhere around 3100 BCE, splitting Upper and Lower Egypt. First occurring as a series of stable kingdoms, separated by intermediate periods such as the Old, Middle and New Kingdoms, Egypt was invaded by a number of foreign powers including the Libyans, the Nubians, Assyrians, Persians, Macedonians, and of course, the Greeks. Predictable flooding meant a timed surplus of crops, which supported larger populations year after year. The many achievements of these people include immense quarrying, surveying, and construction using a system of mathematics and science to build and organize what we still visit today. Medicine, irrigation, boat making, the Egyptians did it all. They pushed the boundaries with glass technology, and even invented new forms of literature, and even coined the earliest known drummed up peace treaty. Yeah, don't even get me started on the Sphinx. Have you seen this thing? It's practically being held together with glue and tape at this point. Number 4. Mesopotamia, the land of two rivers. Around 10,000 BCE in what is now modern day Iraq, some of the first fully developed Neolithic cultures began to settle in this fertile crescent known biblically and famously as Mesopotamia. Around 8,000 BCE, people in northern Mesopotamia began to cultivate barley and wheat in which made beer, gruel, soup, and eventually even bread. This is where the earliest signs of civilization began. They were the first to develop trades such as weaving, leatherwork, metalwork, masonry. One of the greatest achievements of ancient Mesopotamia was the invention of the wheel sometime around 3500 BCE. Mathematics and science was based on a numerical system of 60. This is the source of the 60 minute hour, the 24 hour day, and the 360 degree circle. The Sumerian calendar was three seven day weeks of a lunar month. They were so smart, the astronomers could predict eclipses and solstices. Beer, a calendar, and some wheels? Life was simple back then, huh? Like just not a care in the world. Number three, the Maya. The Mesoamerican civilization of the Maya was roughly between 1800 BC and 900 AD. Located within the archaeological site and the city of San Juan Teotihuacan municipality in the state of Mexico. This site has been classified a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. Teotihuacan was the largest city in the Americas with a population between 125,000 and at its peak millions, making it at least the sixth largest city in the world during its reign. The Maya script is the most sophisticated, highly developed writing systems in the pre-Columbian Americas. Hieroglyphic writing was being used by the third century. They are known for their art, math, calendars, and astronomical systems. Architecturally, the city consisted of palaces, ceremonial ball courts for sport and sacrifice, and of course, structures precisely aligned for astronomical observation. Number two. Rome. In modern history, ancient Rome refers to the Roman civilization from the founding of the city in the 8th century BC to the collapse of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD. It encompasses the Roman Kingdom, Roman Republic, and Roman Empire. It began as an Italic settlement. The settlement grew into the city of Rome, eventually controlling its neighbors through a combination of treaties and military strength. It eventually dominated and acquired much of Europe, and of that, the surrounding Mediterranean Sea one of the largest empires in the ancient world. At one point, roughly a quarter of the world's population. Contributed to modern language, religion, society, technology, government, warfare, art. Do as the Romans do, right? Its military created a system of government which was the inspiration for modern republics such as the United States and France. They achieved impressive feats, such as the empire-wide construction of bridges, ports, and roads, as well as the monuments and megalithic buildings splattered all around the world. Every time I flush a toilet, I'm like, man, huh, these guys were good. Number one, Turkey. Located in the foothills of the Taurus Mountains, we arrive at Gobekli Tepe. This Neolithic site lays in the southeastern Anatolia region of Turkey and is dated around 9500 BCE. The site consists of a number of large circular structures supported by massive stone pillars. Long story short, it's the first construction site of anything. 
ever. The pillars are richly decorated with abstract, anthropomorphic carvings of people, clothing, and wild animals, thus providing archaeologists insight into this prehistoric peoples and what they were about. Considered the oldest permanent human settlements anywhere in the world, historians link this revolution to the invention and precursor of agriculture. Gobekli Tepe is a monumental complex built on the top of a rocky mountain far from any known sources of water, and having produced no evidence of agricultural has sparked numerous debates over the years. The site's original excavator, Klaus Schmidt, described it as the Earth's first temple ever, a sanctuary used by groups of nomadic hunter-gatherers from all over the world with no permanent inhabitants. Classified a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2018, radiocarbon dating shows that the earliest exposed structures at Gobekli Tepe were built around 11,500 years ago. It's regarded by some as THE archaeological discovery of many lifetimes, since it could profoundly change the understanding of the development of human society and when it exactly started. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. I've been your host, Kyle McWaters, and we'll see you next time on Bumblebee for some more.